right now in Singapore. Dim sum. I got a whole bunch of like, I got Hakao. The Singapore Botanic Gardens. Fenestrations. Look how fine they are. Huge, these orchid petals. Welcome back to the channel. It's Carmia Marceline, and I'm so happy that you're here. If you're new to the channel, hey, hey, hey. Welcome to the fam. We unabashedly hyperfixate on plants here. And you know what? I am in Asia right now in Singapore, and I wanted to do a bit of a travel vloggy. It has been several years since I've last been here. I was here in 2015, I believe, and my brother has never been. At the hotel, I'm staying at the Mondrian, Duxton Hill. Like how beautiful that is. Okay, I clearly was already in here, but you have great smart design in terms of luggage, I got too excited and I'm wearing the slippers already. <laughs> what I loved about this place was all of the green accents, I'm not gonna lie. Plants forever, an umbrella stand, robes, which you know I'm gonna get into. Like the beautiful green. In case you're wondering, green is my favorite color. Like, ooh, okay. They have a little seating area over here with a cute little stool that I will try and find in New York so I can have at my apartment. Beautiful in there. Also, like, look at that artwork. So pretty. Two twin beds because I'm here with my bro on a Sibs trip. Also, I'm super into these light fixtures. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> but it should be super luxurious. Like, also that green cube thing is not a space shuttle or a random box. That's actually the bathroom. Hi, it's me. Okay. So I'm going to open this up. Also, I am in love with this sink. This beautiful marble sink. This is the bathroom. You can see all of the mirrors. It looks so much bigger than it is because of all the mirrors. This is the situation. Like, I need this. I don't want it. I need this. It's like, ugh. talk about a sexy ass bathroom. Like, and then this is the shower. So if you open it like this, okay. Oh, look how green, it's a cube. All right, okay. Yes, we like the space here, okay. And then they have mullen goets. Like how luxe is that? Everyone, okay, this is day two in Singapore. Greg and I slept so well, I kid you not. Like, the past couple of days in Thailand, we're, we're, we're great and we're okay, but the sleeping accommodations were not the best. It felt like we were sleeping on the floor. That's how hard the mattresses were. But in this hotel, they are plush. They are lovely. They are so soft. So we slept really well, but before we went to bed, we went to a hawker center about like a 15, 20 minute walk away from us. And do I tell you, I ate such great food. We had Heine's roasted chicken and rice. We had dim sum. I got a whole bunch of like, I got Hakao. I got roasted pork buns. I got shrimp crepe noodles and then we also got some like roasted pecking duck and pork so that was really yummy i also had some <laughs> tofu pudding 
which was delicious. Loved every moment of it. But right now it is super early because Greg and I woke up at like six in the morning. You wanna say hi to the vlog, Greg? Hello. <laughs> He's drinking something right now. Um, so yeah, we are headed to walk to the half lion, half mermaid statue, the lion statue. So that's where we're headed. But I thought we could do a fit check. <laughs> I am really not your typical influencer, but uh, I was so proud of what I wore today, so I wanted to show you all. Okay, uh, I, I can't do this. Okay, so I'm wearing a matching set. I don't know if you, is this how you do it? Hello? Anyway, I'm wearing a matching set by the brand, what, Greg, what was the brand again? Holiday. Holiday. <laughs> I'm wearing Holiday. Uh, I'm also wearing Crew. Sunnies that I got at a sample sale. The ring that I got from Thailand, because it's green and matches. And then, hold on, let me flip the camera. I'm wearing my, don't look at my ashy knees. I'm wearing my Common Projects. So let's go. It has been a couple minutes since I've last seen you. And boy, am I sweating buckets. It's a good thing you're not here, but I'm sure you can see some of the glow. You, you like how I said glow instead of sweat? <laughs> and we're here by Marina Bay, I believe. And unfortunately, the Singapore Merlion doesn't, it's fully covered because they're doing construction. So that's a bummer but you can kind of see the beautiful background behind me. That little little boat thing was from Crazy Rich Asians. It's an infinity pool that overlooks the city of Singapore. So it's absolutely beautiful. Greg and I walked here, it's about half an hour. And wow, I feel like everything I drank this morning I've sweated it out. Ah, oh, man, I also have to really pee. Whew. It's like I don't want to be dehydrated, but I also do not know where the bathroom is. You know what I mean? Like, does anyone else have that issue? Let me know down below when they travel. It's like, oh, I don't want to drink anything because I don't want to have to pee. But then you're dehydrated AF and then you drink something and then you do have to pee and you're like, I don't know where to go. Anyway, that's my TED talk for today. Uh, I'll be here all, all, all day. We are at the Singapore Botanic Gardens. Yes, you heard that right. I couldn't leave Singapore without coming here and showing you all. They are really well known for their orchids. So I will be of absolute zero help to you in terms of identifying them, but we can still enjoy, right? Oh my God, do you all see? I believe this is a philodendron bilite or Felix, don't quote me on that, but oh my God. Look at how huge these leaves are. My hand for reference. Oh my God. Ah, just like how majestic. Also look at the fenestrations. Look how fine they are of this monstera. Ooh, do we see this Calathea? Oh, look how huge these leaves are. This apparently is Maranta Road because there are all these Maranta. Like, oof, look how huge these are in real life. Bet they're low maintenance on like in my apartment. Oof, look at the Calathea Zebrina. It's been a little bit since we've last seen you. It has been pouring over here. And I did a little dance of whether or not I would spend $30 for an umbrella and look at where we are right now. So <laughs> we're gonna keep walking through the National Orchid Garden 
The botanical garden was free to get into, but if you wanted to go to the orchid garden, it costs about 15 Singaporean dollars per adult. <sighs> so I didn't want our ticket purchase to be in vain. So here we are. Okay, not gonna lie, these are the only anthuriums I've seen so far in this entire botanical garden. Which one do we think this is? It might be a hybrid. Let me know down below if you can ID it. Oh my gosh, look at these burl marks. Huge! I could never, I could never. Oh, more bilites or felixes. Is this what I think it is? Are these gloriosums? I don't think so because I don't see any velvety leaves. But if you can ID it, let me know down below. Oh, there's even more over here. Like, is it? Is it a gloriosum? I can't tell. But I'm gonna do a size of the leaf in my hand for reference. Like, whoa. Also just like, can we just appreciate how it's glistening in the light? More of them over here. Oh my God. <gasps> like. Also, I love how they just have a mister over here. <gasps> okay, Monstera Peruse. Okay, okay. <gasps> Monstera Thai Constellation. Do we see that? She's looking super creamy and beautiful. Like, look at the cream and the speckles. I wonder if they're gonna have double fenestrations. Oh, impeccable, impeccable. Also, I don't know what mature form this one is, but I am also in awe. There's also a philodendron birkin over there in the back. Gosh, look at more of the Monstera Perus. Ah, this is so beautiful. The one I have at home does not look like this whatsoever. And you can see that it's climbing as well on this tree trunk. We're going into the mist house. Most beautiful orchids. Look at this phil the philodendrons. Just just climbing all over here. Some begonia. Some ferns. More plant oh my gosh, skindapsis. Let's go. Let's go. Ah. So beautiful. 
Oh my God. This kind of looks like a silver tricolor too. Do we see how huge these orchid petals are? Like, ah, uh, like so beautiful. Fiddly fig in the wild. It's so huge. So huge. You think I can grow mine at home to be like that? I doubt it. Pitcher plants? You can, I've never seen them, but you see the outer lip over here. And it has like a little pouch because it's carnivorous. So essentially it'll lure its prey to fall in there and it'll digest it whole. Here, here are even larger ones you can see kind of go like that. This one too, pretty big. Even this one as well is also really big. My hand for reference. Peperomia over here. Beautiful kind of sheen. Let's just walk down here. We're in the cool house and it is very cool in here. But yeah, and you see some of these pitcher, pitcher plants. You can see a little bit more over here as we go. <laughs> just, just let's, let's look at that for a second. It just died a little inside, but like in a good way. I like wedding flowers, aren't they? Right. Oh. Absolutely. Mm. Let's look at that. What she said. I'd love to know what their secret is to keep them happy. Oh, there's even more. It's not going to go with that. Oh my God, wait. Oh my gosh. Apparently it's called a lady slipper orchid. It's got a it, modified lip is pouch like and serves as a trap for flies. Or, so similar to the pitcher plants we saw. Like, I'm dead, what? What? <laughs> like, ah. <laughs> More begonias. LOL, right now I'm trying to film, but the lens on my camera is so freaking steamy because we were in the cool house. <laughs> so that's okay. You don't need to see my face. I just wanted to say thanks for watching the Singapore vlog. I am coming at you. It is like 6 a.m. in the morning. My brother and I are getting ready to fly to the Philippines to see my family. So... Thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed all the fun adventures we had in here. This was a very micro trip, very brief trip, but I'm happy we came. We ate so much great food. If you liked today's video, hit the like button. You know the drill. If you wanna see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button. And if you want to be notified every single time I post, which is every Sunday at 10 a.m. Eastern, 
ring that bell. And with that, I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. Thanks for spending it with me and I can't wait to see you in the next one. Bye.